Hello, everyone. It's Derek. And this is, I hope, will be the shortest of all my recordings. I'm just going to come up and tell you that in all of the tutorials I recorded, I showed you accounts which now no longer exist or have been changed substantially so that this information which will be public on YouTube doesn't lead to uh, people trying to break into our accounts here at the high school. One thing I did was to make sure they're not published until after the new semester started so that the HT password is different than the one we show in our tutorials. The other thing I want to add is I thought it went without saying, but assumptions are a foolish thing, so I'll just come right out and say it, that if you want to do the things I show in these tutorials, you have to actually have a browser profile, either in Chrome or Firefox. Those are the two approved browsers for use on our systems. And you have to click the button in the settings that says, yes, please save passwords for me. By doing this, you let the browser remember for you. And this is what I mean in one of the tutorials. I explained that it's totally I do not understand anyone who has quote unquote forgotten their password because I don't use, I don't type them in ever. I always use the browser to remember for me. And this is an extremely useful tool. And if you're worried about other people using your browser, suppose you share a machine or whatever, then simply log out of your profile every time you leave the computer. And for sure, you want to use two-factor authentication on every site where it's offered. This means your banks, your credit cards, your retirement accounts, and your user profiles, either in Chrome or in Firefox. And this is easy to do. All you have to do is when the uh, Login site ask you how do you want to en enable two factor authentication. It oftentimes presents you with a QR code. Then what you do is you launch your Duo app and press the plus button. And then from there, you point your camera at the QR code, and it's added like magic. So that's enough from me. And I'll end as I would do by saying, if you need help, just ask. I'll meet with you. Thanks now.